Well, do you know what? I remember last year one of the one of the great characters of Flavor Fest was Graham from the Cherry Tree. So we've managed to catch up with him. How are you, mate? I'm absolutely fine, thank you. Good. Well, it's nice to see you again. And beautiful displays you've got here. What are you What are you showing us this year? Uh, this year we have jams, marmalades, curds, and pickles. And this year we've had a couple of new additions to our range, which is the passion fruit curd and our chili and pineapple. The chili and pineapples proving to be very popular. As you can see, that gentleman trying some now. Chili and pineapple. Now, uh, so that's something that you could you could perhaps have that with uh, cheese or something like you that. Have it with cheese. It's a nice accompaniment to a curry. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice. Yeah. yeah, you get two flavours in one go. It's sweet, and then you get the heat coming through afterwards. And was that something that you created uh, through the company? It was created. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how does that process work? I mean, do you, just, do you all sit around the table and think, what what have we never done? Let's try this. Yeah, or? that's right. Yeah. Really? Like, yeah, you yeah. get people coming up. Have you got any of this, any of that? And then we go to production. I'll speak slower. Go to production, and then they say we, we can make that for you, and they do. Okay. It's on popular demand, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, there must be a pro point in the process where you all sit around and try it and decide whether it's going to be a winner or not. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and a good way of uh, deciding if it's going to be good or not is like putting it into the competitions, like Taste of the West and Great yeah. Taste Awards, you know. So tell us about some of the awards that you've uh, managed to achieve. <laughs> This passion fruit that's just come out, that has just won the top award that you could possibly get. It's wow. won three gold stars through uh, uh, the Great Taste Awards. Which is why you've got a, a grin from ear to ear. Yeah, people love that. It tastes just like a Salero ice cream. It's so popular. We sold out yesterday. That's 120 brilliant. jars yesterday. You know? Yeah, oh, that's brilliant. Now, you're based in Ivy Bridge, aren't you? Yeah, that's where it's all manufactured, yeah. Okay, so nice and local to Plymouth. And Flavour Fest, obviously you've been here before. You enjoy the festival? This is our best, best three-day event that we do and I, I wouldn't miss it for the world well that's great it's not what helps here as well is like we get the same pitch from year on year and like people come out oh you're opposite the sports shop yeah there we are yeah so they know Quite where to find open. you yes <laughs> so they know where to find they you they do indeed excellent yeah. well look, it's and lovely to see you graham and uh, so what would you uh, i mean you've told us about the two new ones but what would you recommend uh, other than that oh the, the best selling one out of all the jars is the spicy tomato and caramelized onion that's why i have one open on each end okay so when we get busy people can try it at both ends you know? Terrific. Graham, it's lovely to see you. Thank you very much Thank indeed. Thank you very much.